Hey there, my friends. Welcome back. It's Monday, so you know what that means. That means time for some bonus content here at WWE 2K22 Fantasy Warfare. I am your host, Bloody Bill Box. And in this week's edition of Throwing It in the Way, 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 Way Back Machine to see if we get the same result as the original, we're going to go back to 1995 for another match that did not have a decisive victory, decisive victor when it happened. It was the 1995 Royal Rumble Main Event Championship matchup between Big Daddy Cool and Bret the Hitman Hart. Previously, Bret the Hitman Hart had lost the WWF Championship to Bob Backlund at the 1994 Survivor Series and went out of action with a shoulder injury. While he was out of action, Bob Backlund would lose the championship to Big Daddy Cool Diesel just seven or eight days after the 1994 Survivor Series, so a new champion was crowned without Bret Hart ever getting his rematch. Well, upon his return, Bret the Hitman Hart would get his rematch with the ever-honorable Big Daddy Cool Diesel, but this championship match would be marred with all sorts of outside interference from the likes of Owen Hart, Jim Neidhart, Jeff Jarrett, The Road Dog, and probably everybody else in the mid-card division of WWE at the time, but in the end, the referee could not maintain control and we would not get a decisive victory. So in today's WWE 2K22 Fantasy Warfare bonus content, we're going to take it back to Tampa, Florida at the Sun Dome for the 1995 Royal Rumble with the WWF Championship on the line as Big Daddy Cool Diesel defends the championship against Brett the Hitman Hart. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Hey, my friends, welcome down to ringside here in January of 1995. It's the 1995 Royal Rumble with the WWF Championship on the line. It's Monday, bonus content time here at youtube.com slash at Bloody Bill Box. I am your host, Bloody Bill Box, and here comes the hitman, Bret Hart. Coming in to challenge the World Wrestling Federation Championship held by Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Coming into this matchup, Bret the Hitman Hart is coming off of a shoulder injury suffered at the hands of Bob Backlund at the 1994 Survivor Series, in which Bob Backlund became the WWF Champion by defeating Bret Hart when Bret's own brother Owen threw in the towel. Well, I shouldn't say Bret's own brother Owen threw in the towel. He essentially did, but it was Helen Hart who threw the towel in at the urging of Owen Hart. Gotta, gotta get the semantics right there, folks. It was Owen who urged his parents to throw in the towel, and that led to a brand new WWF Champion at the 1994 Survivor Series. Upon his return from injury, Brett the Hitman Hart wanted to get his gold back, but the man that beat him for the title was no longer champion. And as a result of that, Bret Hart had to go to the new champion to get a title match, and Big Daddy Cool Diesel being the champion that he was at the time, was all too happy to give the excellence of execution his championship opportunity. Except in both cases, Big Daddy Cool Diesel had Shawn Michaels nipping at his tail, and in the case of Bret the Hitman Hart, he had not only Bob Backlund nipping at his tail, but he also had his brother Owen. And in the original showdown back in 1995 in Tampa, Florida at the Sun Dome, the main event championship match between those two would be marred by controversy as Owen Hart, Bob Backlund, hell, I even believe Jeff Jarrett and the Road Dog came running out at one point. And of course, Shawn Michaels, everybody kept running in, running out causing interruptions in the match and ultimately the referee would call for a no contest so at the 1995 Royal Rumble we never got a winner but here today we will find out who would win this match as we throw it back in the way 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 back machine here in WWE 2K22 Fantasy Warfare but having said that let's take it down to the ring for the introductions of our two participants introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart! And introducing the champion from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 317 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Big Daddy Cool. Diesel! 
Diesel showing off the gold to the crowd here in Tampa, Florida. The ring introductions have gotten out of the way. We know champion, we know challenger as the champion hands over the Winged Eagle Championship belt. The referee showing it to Brett the Hitman Hart who looks to regain his championship. Now back in 1999, as we said, there was no decisive winner. It was a no contest. But here today, will it be Diesel who walks out with his WWF Championship still around his waist? Or could it be Bret the Hitman Hart who regains the championship here in this contest? We will find out in a short bit as this match is underway with an immediate missed double axe handle by Bret the Hitman Hart. Big Daddy Cool has got Bret on the ropes, throws him down. Ooh, man, throwing 300 pounds plus of pressure and force into the sternum of Bret the Hitman Hart. And a nice discus punch by Big Daddy Cool. Diesel heading up to the top rope, a little uncharacteristic of him. Big time elbow drop by the champion. Diesel looking to make good here and walk out with the title in short order as they say they're not paid by the hour as Bret Hart kicks out of the count of two. So there'll be no, there'll be no Backlund, there'll be no Owen, no Jarrett, no Road Dog, no Michaels. Just a straight up one-on-one -on -one matchup here between champion and challenger. As we seek to answer the question of what happens when you take these historical matches and you put them back in the ring here in WWE 2K22. Brett tying up the champion. He's got the arm, the head, and everything, but referee calls for the rope break on that one. Oh, nice elbow, point of the elbow to the forehead of Big Daddy Cool. Nice knee drop by the challenger into the forehead of the champion. Ooh, another one. Bret Hart really attacking the body of Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Going after the arms is smart. If, if you can't lock hands for a jackknife powerbomb, you can't give a jackknife powerbomb. Bret Hart with a flying fist drop out of the corner. Now back up one more time. This time the Hitman elbow. Bret Hart dominating the champion right now. Into the cover. The referee is there for the two. And that's all we get as Diesel is able to kick out after Bret Hart nailed that patented elbow out of the corner. Bret dragging the champion back out to the center. Uh-oh. Thought maybe he might be going for the sharpshooter, but Diesel said no way. Kicked the cha uh, challenger away. Diesel brings Bret up. Uh-oh. Choke slam. Oh, nasty choke slam by Big Daddy Cool Diesel on the challenger. Bret Hart is in trouble as Diesel tries to drag him to a better position for a cover. Diesel down, referee in a position. I wouldn't call it a great one. And Bret Hart kicks out of the count of two. Diesel brings the challenger back up to his feet. Oh, fireman's carry counter by the challenger. Hart now has Diesel up. Hard shots to the side of the skull, and a DDT drops the champion hard into the canvas. Nice clothesline by the hitman. Follows it up with a second one. Catches the leg. Sweeps the other leg. Brett down into the cover. Referee there. I would not call that good position at all. He, he was basically staring at Diesel's thigh. Oh, the dreaded Saito suplex by the excellence of execution. Following it up with a point of the elbow right to the temple of the champion. Brett tried one more time for that sharpshooter, but Diesel saying, uh-uh, no way, I don't think so. Oh, and throws the challenger halfway across the ring with that choke toss. Punch to the side of the head and a boot by Bret Hart. Bret with the Irish whip sends the champion into the corner. Back elbow by the champion. Diesel firing away with shots left and right. He's got Bret up on the shoulders. What's he gonna do with him? Oh, down into the turnbuckle. Diesel now driving that big time knee into the chest of Bret Hart. 
making sure to pay mind to that five count because standard rules do apply in this one. Nice backbreaker by the Hitman. Drops the champion down to the mat. Now Brett into the corner. Patented Hitman elbow. I, I don't... I'm not sure, did he get that? Diesel's still down, Brett's into the cover. I'll, I'm gonna call that one a miss. Diesel kicks out of the count of two. Brett now trying for the sharpshooter. He's got those big legs tied up. He turns it over, he sits down with it. Will the champion tap out? Or will this be all for Bret Hart and his championship aspirations? And Diesel does not tap out. This could spell danger for Brett and his championship aspirations as Diesel swipes away the drop kick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It could be Jackknife Powerbomb time. There it is. That's all for Bret Hart's championship aspirations. He didn't get the tap out of the sharpshooter. And Bret Hart's able to kick out of the count of two. I don't believe it. Bret Hart's able to kick out of the count of two. Diesel now. He gets taken over with an arm drag after he tried for a choke slam yet again. Both men have escaped the other's finisher. Pile driver by the hitman on Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Bret Hart into the cover. Referee is there. We get one. We get two. And we get three. Bret the hitman Hart with a pile driver has won the World Wrestling Federation Championship. Here at the 1995 Royal Rumble. What a victory for the Hitman. Brett the Hitman Hart, now once again, WWF Champion, heading into WrestleMania 11. What will it mean when Brett the Hitman Hart and Shawn Michaels step into the ring at WrestleMania 11? Interesting theory indeed. One year ahead of the Iron Man match. But I'd like to thank you all for joining me yet again for another piece of bonus content here from WWE 2K22 Fantasy Warfare. I have been your host, Bloody Bill Box. Be sure to join us this coming Friday night for another brand new episode of WWE 2K22 Fantasy Warfare, where it will be gimmicks of past and present colliding, headlined by Stone Cold Steve Austin, going one-on-one -on -one with stunning Steve Austin. Thank you once again for watching this bonus content from WWE 2K22 Fantasy Warfare. I'll see you next time, and I'll see you at ringside.